Well, gentlemen, it's great to meet you both, and congratulations for writing this awesome song. I loved it. You found me for this story. Um, I'm just curious, how did this happen, and who approached you, and what was your reaction when they asked you to uh, participate in this project? Yeah, so when the makers of the film approached us to write a song for the movie, we were aware of the story. Mm -hmm. um, Primarily because uh, our grandfather also fought in World War II and was, um, he actually flew the same kind of plane that Louis was in and he was shot down, he was in a POW camp. And Did they know each other? They didn't know each other, oh. but it felt like a parallel story that allowed us um, to understand our, our grandfather's life as, you know, as, as well. And so when, when we were approached to write a song for the film, we're very excited, and not just for the story, but also for the implications right. with our grandpa as well. Interesting. What kind of stories did you guys, you know, hear from your grandfather growing up? Like, I'm sure he had many stories to share with you gentlemen growing up, right? Yeah, I mean, that was our favorite thing to do when we were around our grand grandfather, was to try and ply those stories out of him. Um, sometimes it was easier than other times. Uh, uh, but he always was this wealth of stories. Um, sometimes he'd be telling us his favorite recipe for how to cook a pigeon that they trapped, you know? Really? He, he's a... Have you guys tried that recipe? We haven't, but he's no. a, you know, he was uh, like six foot two, like tall guy who at the end of the war was 80 pounds. So food was obviously very important. Um, but he has a lighthearted way of telling these you stories. You never think of it. Yeah, you never thought of the suffering that he went through. Yeah, he always delivered them in a lighthearted fashion to us as kids. But now, um, you know, years later, you kind of go back to those stories and unpack them. And, and through Louis's story, yeah. kind of being able to see behind uh, the, the easy laughter that he would deliver those stories with and see the pain as well. Well, but back then when you guys were younger, you didn't see the pain when he was sharing the story. He was good because he, he, he made it so light and funny. Yeah. You thought was, oh, that was a cool story until later on, like you said. And, you know, did you guys get a chance to see this film yet? Watch this yeah, movie? Yeah, it's beautiful. Did you think about your grandfather watching Louis' story? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, uh, a lot of what the film touches on, uh, PTSD, yeah. wasn't something that they really, it, it didn't have a term for it back yeah. then. Um, so people like our grandfather and like Louis come home from the war, they've done these amazing uh, things even just to survive. And then the real battle begins. You know, how, what do they do now with all of these horrible things that they've seen and experienced? How do they make peace mm -hmm. with that and move on with their lives and let go? Um, and that's, that's really what the, the song You mm -hmm. Found Me is about. You know, is it begins at that low point and um, uh, it, that's when, I, I feel like at our lowest moments is when redemption shines the brightest. But that doesn't happen to everybody. Mm -mm. I mean, you know, I thought the song was just mesmerizing. I heard the entire song after seeing the film last night. And uh, and please excuse me when I, I'm like, wait, that sounds like Coldplay, but I know for sure. So I'm like, looking in the credits, I'm like, oh, nice. Oh, they sound much better than Coldplay. And this song is amazing. So yeah. I'm like, well, thank you so much for writing such an awesome song. And you know, the process of writing this song, like you share with, with me earlier, uh, did you ask anyone? Or was that just between you two, you know, brainstorming the, the, the lyrics and, and, and the meaning itself for yeah. the family. Um, it's interesting because some songs you have to really chase after mm -hmm. and then other songs they come to you and you don't have to fight for it. And um, there are so many parts of Louis' story that I will never understand. Mm -hmm. What it takes to go to the Olympics or survive being lost at sea. But I think that the silent struggle, the battle that you know, is facing his own demons day after day. That's something that we can all relate to. Mm -hmm. And then letting go, forgiving, you know, I felt like those were the themes that just kind of jumped out f for me mm -hmm. in the story. And the song kind of, um, like I said, it just kind of wrote itself.
Yeah, that yeah. was yes. Yeah, so you're right. Letting go and just forgive your your enemy. I think that was very powerful. Mm. In uh, he mentioned in, in in the book of Matthew chapter six verse fourteen. So I thought that was amazing. And what a great song. And you guys planning to come back for your fans who are waiting for for, <laughs> for your tour coming up? Spiritual. Yeah, I mean we're taking we, a spiritual break right now, right? Yeah, yeah. we haven't um, made any plans for the future yet, but um, it felt good to be in the same room making music together. So we'll see. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you so much for talking to yeah. us. Good. You're Louis Sam Brady, aren't you? Thank you. For what? For preserving the free world for silly girls like me. <laughs> People from all over the country want to know if you're going to run in the London Olympics. I don't run to run. I run to win. I just thought I'd be able to forget everything. You're having any night sweats or nightmares? You need help. Here tonight, there's a drowning man. But there's a lifeline. Just reach out. These men did terrible things to you. What are you going to say to them? <laughs> 